are off. <laughs> Ooh, man. Hello. I made it to the town, I think it's called Topar. And uh, it's about 40 miles outside of La Paz. And uh, it's a nice ride. I got here just in time. People running around, people burning fires. Uh, it was a nice ride. I made it here right before the rain. Um, I'd give you a tour of the town, but that'd take about 30 seconds. And I think the highlight would be a dog chasing me. But uh, I got a really nice place. It's eleven. It's eleven dollars for the night. The scenery's beautiful. Uh, it took about twenty minutes to get out of El Alto and into some emptiness. I'm chapping, uh, chafing really bad. This dry air, but it is just open, mountainous scenery, and it's really cool. And I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm looking forward to this month coming up. It's exciting to, to finally be out of La Paz and out there doing it. Here comes a man on a motorcycle. Whoa! Hello there, everyone. So today is the evening of my second day and I covered about 50 miles it was tough um, when as high as, well, I started at 13,000 feet, dropped as low as 12,000, back up to 13,000. And I'm not sure where I'm at right now, but I'll check that. But I'm um, in a town, Konani. And uh, yeah, it was a great day of riding. It started with rain, but it was beautiful. And uh, then the sun came out and I'm so red because it's so, hot and such a high altitude, sunblock, everything. <sighs> Still losing my breath and uh, nothing I could do. I'm just sunburned, chafed and so, so forth. But I'm always mentioning the in-between towns and being off the beaten path. And so I thought I will, I'm gonna give you a little tour of Konani. Um, I don't think the people of Konani are gonna like the camera, but then again, I didn't like the baby crying when I was taking a nap, so we'll see. And I'm not gonna be rude about it, but I'm gonna let's go walk around the town. But before we do, of course, I'm gonna grab myself a beer. Pop this little sucker open. Ooh. Mmm. Delicious. And um, well, let me show you my room real quick. So this is for six dollars. This is what six dollars gets you to Konani. I have my bike in here. I have a toilet, a sink, and here's a shower. Oh, this must be the water. So obviously not gonna be any hot water. Here's my bed and uh, my car's pillow and uh, my light and let's go. Now I do have, but my room does lock from the inside, but actually that lock doesn't even work, so. I'm just gonna leave my thousands of dollars worth of stuff sitting there because there's really not much I can do. The door doesn't shut all the way either. And uh, here's the room. There's a little construction going on or something. I'm not really sure, but I think the theory is why give them a lock if we have the key? <laughs> so there's no point. And my theory is 
what's anyone gonna do with my iPad or iPhone or GoPros here? So let me shut the gate, added security, flannels. And uh, let's head on out through the lobby. There's just also a little market. Buenos. They sell all kinds of candies and gum and it smells like chicken. And uh, there we go. We are basically in the heart of Konani as soon as we step out the door. Pretty much everyone's selling the same thing. A lot of sodas, a lot of, oh, I don't know what even what that is. Candies, cookies. Uh, things like that, soda pops, a lot of toilet paper. We have a nice restaurant over here. This is where I'm gonna have dinner with Robo. Que pasa? And a uh, guy with the same hat as me too. I'm blending right in actually. I'm pretty much, after being here for about four hours, I'm somewhat of a local. Buenos. We got a bunch of guys working. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Ah, they're chewing the coca. Oh, oh can I try some? For me? Ah, awesome. <laughs> Let's throw this here. All right. They're going to let me try some coca with them. Do I just put it? <laughs> I speak no Espanol. Nada. Only English. Uh, anyone habla English? I just have English. So I put it? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Bicicleta La Paz aquí. Dos días. Dos días. Dos días. Sí. Pure dead. With the coca? No, but, but with the coca, uno dia, uno dia. Turbo. Flor. Gracias, gracias, mucho gracias. Listo. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. All right, those guys are very, very nice. Yeah, that's it. That's is the entire town right here, and uh. I guess I better get back to my room. Okay, so back to the room and it appears everything is how I left it. it wasn't going long for the five minute tour of the whole town. Ooh, that's bright. But uh, yeah, Konani, Konani, Bolivia. And uh, yeah, eager to move on tomorrow. I'm ready to Whew, so winded after that walk. Uh, here to move on and do some camping and get out in some wilderness and kick these boots off. And uh, ciao. Good morning, everyone. This is uh, one heck of a climb. I'm about two, two and a half hours into it. I'm at about 13,000 feet. <sighs> Definitely uh, takes your breath away. If this fucking dog chases me, I'm gonna lose my shit. God damn it, here he comes. No! Leveling up huge. 
Oh, I'm at like 12,500. The sky, the sky is so ridiculous. Um, yeah, yeah, this is uh, getting to be pretty awe-inspiring, badass fucking bicycle touring right here. Whew. Take my breath away. I don't think it's just altitude. It's uh, it's one of those. It's it, this uh, gives you that sense of wonder. It's like, how, why, why am I on the side of the road in Bolivia, experiencing this? What, what, what butterfly flapped its wings 53 years ago and put my life on this trajectory where it's me and a bicycle? I. I don't know. This whole experience is just fucking nuts. Love it. Mwah. Wheel positive, baby. Here I am sitting on a giant frog overlooking the city of Oruro, which is considered the heart of the Altiplano. I arrived here yesterday and I, I'm spending a full day here to take care of laundry, finances. Um, nice to have a hot shower after three days. Um, Wi-Fi, a, a lot of amenities that I don't think I'm gonna have when I head south on the Altiplano tomorrow. And yeah, so I'm getting all that taken care of. It looks like I'll, good chance I'm gonna be off the grid for a while. So stocking up on supplies, organizing. I have a nice room, $18 a night. It's on the fifth floor. And I gotta tell you, the vibe in the city is really, really cool. I prefer it to La Paz. I'm probably gonna make some time, at least spend another full day here when I get back. Um, yeah, when I don't have to, so many tasks. Cause I'd really like to see this city. It has a really, really good vibe, but Tomorrow, I'm off. I'm south on the Altiplano, and if you're interested, there's gonna be a little graphic of my dumb face popping up in a few seconds. Uh, click it, subscribe, and yeah, love to have you along.